All right, what's up guys? Thomas Alex Norman here, and in this video, we're gonna be shooting some epic winter B-roll. This was completely unplanned. The heavens just opened last night, so we had to rush out here and get this done, because uh, it's a pretty unique opportunity in London. It doesn't snow like this that often. Right now, we're in Victoria Park, and the first shot we're gonna be getting, as you can see right here, we are at this kind of lake. So going from a beginner's mindset, what would a beginner do when they see this lake? They would see the lake, point and shoot, and they'd get the shot of the lake. If maybe if they seen a couple of tips and tricks, they might kind of move into the lake, which is pretty cool. It's definitely not a bad way to start a video, but what we're gonna be doing here is getting a bit of depth. So that's one of the composition rules I teach. How we can get a bit of depth right here is as you can see, there are these reeds and they're covered in like this fresh snow, which looks really nice. So I'm just gonna focus in on one of these reeds. By doing a simple left to right movement, we can come out and just gently rack focus on the leg there. And immediately we get this sense of depth. So right now we're gonna continue that movement, but zoom in. So rather than getting this shot here, we're gonna get like this and come lower again. So we can use the depth of field on maybe some of these leaves. Just gonna move again from left to right. Gonna get in this texture shot. I'm also in a really deep squat right now, which feels great. So I think that was quite a nice way to establish this scene. What I'm also gonna do is make the most of these reads and Maybe, again, from a beginner's mindset, how would, how would we shoot the reeds? You might zoom in and maybe focus, and that, that might be quite a cool shot as well. So, not bad for a beginner shot. What I'm gonna do to make this epic, whilst we're here, we can kind of focus right in on the reeds closest to us, and we can kind of move through them. So just kind of move the camera around a bit until you find a way to kind of feel like you're really moving through the reeds. It can feel a bit more immersive. So what I'm gonna do is plan out a bit more of a controlled shot here. We start with this tree and we do something like kind of pulling down and through to the reeds like that. So I'm gonna try and do that. So pulling back, going down, focusing down. All right, let's see how that looks. Following on from that texture shot of the lake, I'm gonna get another texture shot of this fence here. Again, a beginner might kind of just get, get maybe the tops of them could look good from that angle, but we can turn this into a leading line by just doing that. And therefore you're, you're playing again with that foreground and background rather than just getting kind of one layer. So we could either leave it here or we could just move forward. All right, next shot. We're gonna continue with the texture theme. Get the texture of the lake, texture of the fence, texture of the snow, get texture of the tree. If I was a politician, I would say texture, texture, texture. So, tree shot. You guys know me, I like a good tree. As a, as a beginner, you're just looking at this and you just, how do I shoot it? It's just, it's vast. I can't get it in the, in the bloody lens. So what we're gonna do, texture. <laughs> so we're gonna do that here through the focus. And what we can do is just do a nice spinning shot. Something like that looks good. We could also move across. And we're gonna get one more texture shot here. You would have seen me get these in plenty of other tutorials, but this one's a bit special because of the snow here. So again, focusing up and moving around. We've got a couple of options. We can move up, so just doing a squat. Or we could move around. And whilst we're here, we can get a similar shot to the other tree. Sick. Great, so in filmmaking, it's often hard to actually film with people. 
Um, us filmmakers, we're, we're, we're very known for just not having any friends. But luckily, I've just met a really cool guy, um, Peter. So luckily enough, he's given us permission to, to film him and use him for a couple of examples here. So it's great. You guys are going to get some really good, good examples of how to shoot with people in winter time. So come here. So meet, uh, meet Peter. You all right, Pete? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Yeah. So when we're shooting people in winter time, you're looking good, mate. Yeah, no worries. So how we're gonna get this nice shot of Pete here is we're gonna use the rule of symmetry. This is a really important point that beginners often make the mistake of. I'm not gonna be doing anything fancy here and getting like a crazy movement shot or anything, but it's just paying attention to basic composition. If I put the camera here, right, Peter is blocking the tree there. So it kind of looks like he's got a tree coming out of his head. And then there's kind of space here. These two hedges aren't matching up. If I just move the tiniest, hello, the tiniest bit to the right, and then suddenly we've got a really nice symmetrical composition. So Peter's in the middle here. That tree is now kind of to the right, and we've got other trees kind of more or less framing him. So the rule of symmetry is a really important one. And we can keep this symmetry by doing a shot where we're dollying forward. It's good. So now we can move in. We can get a detail shot. I think Peter here is actually, he's got a smile on his face, but I think he's actually looking a little bit sad. So we could kind of get like an emotional shot. Just really emphasize the pain on Peter's face right now. You know, I think this story is becoming about just a guy who's, who's just trying to put on a brave face for the world, you know? Just somebody who's just, He's got a big smile on his face. But actually, in reality, he's dying inside. As you notice, I'm moving from right to left here to emphasize that rather than going left to right, things moving forward, potentially from Pete, for Peter here, things are actually moving backwards. Thanks so much for letting us use you uh, today as an example, Peter. I thought we were friends. come across a pretty iconic tree. So when I saw this tree, I was about here. And I could have done two things. My camera doesn't go any wider than this, so I would have kind of done this, or maybe just got the top, or even worse, kind of something about something like that. Again, the shot's not bad, but if I just step back a few paces, then all of a sudden, we've got the whole tree in frame, and we've got these two trees either side of it to give it a great amount of symmetry. And that's quite kind of like a, an iconic, potentially ending shot for the video. As a very easy way to end a video, we can use camera movement. We can start forward, pull back. Just doing a camera movement where we're pulling back is just an easy way to give the audience a sense that we're kind of coming out of the video now. So just a quick one there, guys. Not a big epic sequence that we're putting together at the end. Instead, just a few quick solid examples of how a beginner might shoot something and how somebody more experienced might shoot something. If you want to know the entire list of gear that I use to make videos, as well as very cheap kind of packs of gear that you can use to get started, then head over to the link below where you can download the free gear list, where I give you a bunch of different options that, of the gear that I would buy if I was just starting out on a low budget and moving up through different packages until you have the gear that you might use if you were a professional. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'm gonna go right now with a, a pint uh, with a good friend, um, Peter. I hope he's, hope he's still there. Um, and yeah, keep, keep filming. Bye-bye. Peter?